Hello there, Pokemon trainers! This is Trainer Connor, and I'm here to bring you guys Episode 4 of Pokemon Showdown to the Top. Now, this specific episode is going to be a little bit different than the previous episodes that I made, and there are reasons for it. Do not worry, you are still getting the content, but it's going to be narrated a little bit differently. It's going to be in post-battle form. I'm not narrating it live. Let me know in the comments if you end up liking this post battle slash narration method. I might make it return for the upcoming videos. It's just an experiment for now, so we'll see how I do. But anyway, again, this is episode 4 of my awesome Road to the Top series, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into the team preview. See you there. Okay, so the first Pokemon in the squad is a Choice Scarf Zekrom, and to be honest, I really like Zekrom for real. He's one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. He has a fantastic design, and the overall statistics for competitive battling. We got Fusion Bolt, Volt Switch, Outrage, and Crunch on this offensive Zekrom. Max Speed and Attack for this monster, who is also utilizing Adamant Nature additional power. The move Crunch hits Mega Gengar and Eager Slash, but I will say he is walled by the Fairy types and Groudon. All other moves are stab or same attack or same type attack bonus. I had trouble finding good partners for Zekrom. I did do some research and thankfully I found a few good ones, starting with this second Pokemon, Dugtrio. Dugtrio's main purpose here is to trap Groudon with its ability Arena Trap and hit them with Earthquake. Zekrom absolutely dislikes Groudon, Normal or Primal, and that Pokemon is so common in the tier. Luckily, we have our answer. Reversal is nice if we get to 1 HP, and of course, Stealth Rocks to wear down Pokemon coming in. Our third Pokemon in the squad is Arceus Fairy. He provides good solid support for the team, and has ways to calm mind up, use refresh to get rid of status conditions, and recover. That's definitely a top-notch Pokemon you see here. This set is strictly defensive. Max HP, max defense, with small investment in special attack for the move Judgment. Since Zekrom is weak to Fairy, this Arceus will soak the Fairy type moves to come in the way. I was tempted to use Arceus Steel again, but I already used him in the last episode, if you saw it. Evoltal is next. I put Foul Play on him this episode because last time, I didn't, it didn't fare too well. Definitely a smart move to hit physical attackers for Foul Play in this move slot. Keep in mind though, Evoltal is defensive too. Toxic and Taunt are awesome, especially in this tier. Mega Gengar is back. He's super nice here because of his whopping special attack and overall coverage options. You see Sludge Bomb, or actually Sludge Wave, <laughs> Shadow Ball with coverage like HP Ice and Thunder. Mega Gengar is extremely versatile in Ubers, and I'm positive we'll see how he can fare against my upcoming opponents. The last Pokemon in the squad is Geass' Defense with Spikes and Thunder Wave as a secondary option if Evoltal is not around. Psyshock is Stab, while Knockoff can get rid of certain items. Deoxys is another defensive wall for the team, and I'm going to enjoy his overall presence in the battlefield. That's the lineup for this video. Let's now jump into battle. I'll see you guys in a moment. Thank you for listening to my team preview. What's going on guys? Now before we start the match, I want to start out by saying that I'm at 13 wins, 8 losses, which is pretty respectable if you ask me. Not great, but it's not awful either. You see my first opponent? He has a whole bunch of legendary Pokemon like Groudon, Genesect, Mewtwo, Arceus, Naganadel, just to name a few actually, you know? And you see my team there as well. The first battle was pretty good, I have to tell you that right now. So we're going to go ahead and start this game. 
and I expected him to start out with Groudon just to put some pressure against me, precipitous blaze, or go for swords dance. I started with Zekrom, not a good matchup here already. So I go to Evelto just to dodge the precipitous blades. And here he goes for the eruption. Which at full HP that would have easily wiped out any Pokemon. But Evelto is pretty bulky, so I can definitely survive a eruption there. Go for the foul play, and then he finishes me off with Stone Edge. Here, I go into Doug Trio, and this is exactly what I said in the analysis. You trap in the Groudon, and they can't switch out, and you go for it. So, we see our CS Water coming in, and I have Speed It, which is fantastic, because I need some damage on the Arceus for some additional power and additional HP lowering. So I can bring in Zekrom and use Volt Switch. Just to keep the momentum going. So that's what we're going to do with Zekrom now. Go for the full switch. Knock out Arceus. Bring in Deoxys Defense. This is definitely good momentum that we have going on here. However, we do see Genesec. And he has Bug Buzz. Does a lot more damage than I thought. So I'm going to go into Arceus Fairy. We do have a layer of spikes up. We want to use our Sis Fairy just to get rid of this Genesect. Hopefully. I go for Calm Mind just to set up a little bit. I only have a Judgment. And he lowers our Special Defense with that Flash Cannon. It doesn't matter in the long run. We put a lot of chip damage onto Genesect. This way, I can bring in Zekrom yet again and use Fusion Bolt. To wipe out the Genesect. The star of the video is back for more. And there you have it. So we have Luganadel out here. I want to use the Yasus for a little bit. But like if we can paralyze the Luganadel, that would be perfect. However, Luganadel is faster than the Yasus, So we'll use the Yasus as Death Frog. This way I can bring in Gengar for free, Mega Evolve safely, and survive a hit, hopefully. Man, this is Meganagel. It's pretty powerful. Wouldn't you agree? We go for Shadow Ball, and we knock out Meganagel. However, he goes into Mewtwo after that. Mewtwo can go for the Mega Evolution and do something against me. I go for Shadow Ball. I was actually not expecting that to KO, which means that Mewtwo is Purely offensive. His last Pokemon that you see here is Eveltal. It's a shiny Eveltal. We go for the Sludge Wave and we poison it. However, Gengar, he does go down, unfortunately. This has opened the door for Zekrom and click buttons. Like Fusion Bolt or Volt Switch. I wanted to use Fusion Bolt just to ensure that we have the power. You know, so we won the first game. It's pretty awesome. So here we have our secondary game, and my opponent has a stronger, and I mean it, a stronger team than the other opponent. Here we trade energy hazards. I start out with Diosis going for spikes, and we avoid a precipitous blaze. Use Psy Shock. We can't paralyze him because of a ground type, but we put some damage onto him. This will ensure our KO with Doug Trio. And this is what happens here, because yes, I expected him to use Precipitous Blades, and I want him to KO Evolto. I didn't really see Evolto being very useful here in this match, so we'll let him go down. That is sad, but this will open the door for Doug Trio to wipe out Groudon. However, this Groudon appears to be very bulky because last fight we locked out a Groudon and it was at full HP, but this one wasn't and it still survived. What? So that kind of threw me for a loop there. Forced me to use 
Zekrom a lot earlier than I anticipated, but that's fine. I go into Arceus Fairy just for the typing matchup against the, the Adultal here coming in here. Go for the Calm Mind, I think, as he predicts. Uh, I hear you really predict. Actually, I went for the Judgment. Wrong call. I probably should have used Calm Mind then, but Kyogre? Eh. He uses Calm Mind too, and I thought I had the upper edge. However, you're gonna see that what's going to happen. Kyogre gets the better end, or he has the upper hand when it comes to the Calm Mind situation. When we both use Calm Mind over and over, he has the upper hand. So, Arceus goes down. However, this will open the door for Zekrom again, and we're going to use Fusion Bolt. It doesn't affect the special defense, because Fusion Bolt, from my understanding, is a physical attacking move. He goes into the Vault Hall, and I'm like, alright, well, I will outspeed you. If you're a Choice Scarf you Vault Hall, you will. I mean, I can, I can guess why you did that, but you're not Choice Scarf, so that's fine with me. I go into Deoxys Defense after this. He goes for Side Strike with Mewtwo Y. And I just go for, he goes for the Call Mine, rather. Which. That's fine, because that's going to give me a free Thunder Wave to the face. Go for Knock Off. We can't knock off an item right now, because Mewtwo is not holding an item. However, I do appreciate the super effective damage. Deoxys goes down, but I can go into Zekrom and click Fusion Bolt here. Easily wipe out the Mewtwo. That leaves with just two Pokemon remaining, such as Marshadow and Xerneas. For Xerneas on this team, the only the only Pokemon that works wonders is Gengar. And if Xerneas, if it carries Geomancy, that is a problem. But if it doesn't use Geomancy, then it's a little easier to deal with. However, you see here, Fusion Bolt, it does over half, and then it uses Geomancy. That is scary, and that is pretty bad. Moonblast KOs the Zekrom, and we might be able, if we get a critical hit with Sludge Wave with Gengar, or even the Mega here, and ah, oh, we survived, but the special attack lower in right there. That comes to bite us. I don't think it mattered though, because of how bulky the Xerneas is after signing up with Geomancy. So, we lose this game. Good game to my opponent there. He played very well. What a way to keep Xerneas alive towards the end. That really bit me there. So we see my third opponent here, starting out with Blissey. I hate Blissey, guys. Blissey is one of those Pokemon that is so hard to knock out. Unless they have Toxic, of course, and we go for Toxic with Evoltal. Here, I go into Arceus Fairy, and he goes for Stealth Rock. Remind me to use Defog later with Evoltal, because we want to get rid of him. I try using Refresh right there, and for whatever reason, I did some research on it after the fact. It appears that you have to have Arceus have a condition to use Refresh effectively. That is actually really dumb, if you ask me. Anyway, so we have Evolta out here. Now's the time to use Defog if we can. Defog right here will hopefully get rid of it. But I decided to use Trial Play for some reason. I really should have used Defog. We will use it, guys, so I'm not gonna lie to you all. He goes into Fortress again. I think he predicts this. But I just go for another trial play. I'm going to keep using it for a little while, then use Defog. But I will say that that was an error on my part. I really should have used Defog, like you see right here, a lot sooner. Here he goes for the full switch. Super effective. It keeps the momentum going for my opponent. He goes into Galvantula. 
Golf action is pretty good in OU, but not in Ubers. Yes, it has sticky web, but when you have like defog or rapid spin support, it's very. I mean, it's not that great. I mean, it has good special attack as well. We have the trail. That's an easy finisher for Galvantula. Kyogre comes out. I am faster than it, which is pretty cool. Because this way, I can go into Zacrom and click buttons like Fusion Bolt or something like that. But what I decided to do instead is just go into the Voltol and finish him off with foul play or use defog like I, like I do right here. That's what I was thinking in my head at the time, but if I had a second opportunity, I would definitely go into Zekrom. But I was worried about the sticky web and whatnot. So, here's where things get a little bit interesting, okay? So we see Dios's defense and fortress. I go for knockoff, we knock off his item away which I, it appears to be leftovers, which is great. And now, we use spikes over and over again. We do know that the fortress has access to rapid spin. What's going to happen is... Fortress will keep using rapid spin as I keep going for spikes. You see the item I'm holding. Every time he uses rapid spin, he takes damage from the recoil from my Rocky Helmet that I have equipped on Deoxys. So, in the end, I will have a layer of spikes up. He goes down to the Rocky Helmet. There you go! He doesn't get rid of that spike. Fantastic. So now, he goes for the switching to Blissey, which is fine. I just go for Knock Off, I believe. He goes for Toxic, it's not going to worry me. Too much. I'm not going to be using Deoxys for too much longer. Anyway, he goes back into Kyogre. I go for another layer of spikes after the fact. Origin Pulse knocks me out, so that's why the poison didn't matter. That Origin Pulse, that's going to easily wipe me out. Sekrom is going to come in again and use Fusion Bolt to knock out the Kyogre. This leads with just Blaziken and Blissey. Blissey is going to come in first. I am very skeptical about it because I outspeed it. Why would you do that? That's an easy wipeout. So, I don't know, that's kind of strange. His last Pokemon is Blaziken, Mega Blaziken in fact. Uses Fusion Bolt here, as Necron does, and Man, that was close to KOing. However, he has Square Blitz. Square Blitz recoil knocks him out. And that is the end of that match. We had one more Pokemon that was Ega Slash, but my opponent forfeited. So, there you go. We got our next win there. And this is my next match that you see on the screen there. It's happening very quickly. He starts off with Flygon. And. Gets a critical hit U-turn, which that doesn't matter, but like whatever. I mean, it's a critical hit on the first turn of the match. Are you kidding me? Starts off with the Greninja. Well, I mean, he goes into Greninja actually. Greninja is not battle bond, I believe. You don't see it during this battle, so Arceus Fairy goes for the Calm Mind. Why not? We see Lucario, which I can see why he's going for that. However, a plus one judgment is going to wipe out Lucario very easily. Lucario doesn't have good special defense whatsoever. Here, my opponent goes into Marshadow. I wasn't sure what he was going to do, so I just go for the recover like a boss. And there you go, we have our Arceus back underneath its feet, and we go for yet another judgment. We're in a very good position. My opponent goes into Mewtwo. What Mega is it? Is it Mega Lucario? Is it Mega Mewtwo? For whatever reason, I thought you can Mega Evolve twice, but I don't know about that. So, I was like, alright, well, it's a regular Mewtwo because I forgot that Lucario was a Mega. That's what happened during the actual fight. I was like, oh. 
My bad. It's a Megalucaria. Anyway, so, with that said, uh, we have Evelto here going for Toxic on the Zerora, which is very nice. We appreciate additional damage. I go for the switching the Dutch Rail Specken Plasma Fist, which, which, which works wonders. And he can switch if he wanted to, but he really didn't have a good answer. Uh, he could go into Flygon, but I mean, I had several options to use, like Reversal and Rock Slide, so I get it. It's risky. You don't want to switch into something like that. Anyways, so though, the trio is gone. At least, with just five Pokemon remaining on my side here. He goes to the Flygon expecting me to use the electric type move, like Fusion Bolt, but I predicted that. And I go for the Outrage. Wipes out the Flygon. So here's regular Mewtwo, which, again, I thought it was a Mega at the time, but you can't Mega Evolve twice. So, this particular Mewtwo is a little strange. You will notice that it keeps using Protect over and over again. But that's my opponent for doing that. I don't know why he's doing it like that. It's a little odd. He goes into Greninja as I go for the foul play, which that's a good switch in, if you ask me. Ice Beam, even though it's boosted by Protein, Greninja's ability that you see, uh, it's not even a 2 KO. Which is pretty hilarious. That's how bulky this Evolcone is. He goes for another Ice Beam. I'm hoping that he does not freeze me. He doesn't freeze me, which is fantastic. And we wipe out the ninja with the foul play. That leaves with just Mewtwo. And why not? We could use foul play. But I'm like, alright, well, who else we haven't used in this fight? We haven't used Gengar yet. We're going to Gengar now. Mega Evolve, and use Shadow Ball. Ah, so close, right? So close. Mewtwo has good special effects. So does Gengar. I think we had the same amount of damage back to us. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm not sure why my opponent is going for Protect. I don't know why. It really doesn't matter. I mean, what purpose are you trying to... I don't know. It's hard to tell. Anyway, so we just go for the HP Ice, Hidden Power Ice, I should say. And we win that match as well, so good game to my opponent there. This is the last battle of the video. We see a full-on Ghost-type team. So all his Pokemon that we see on the screen here are all Ghost-types. Oh, and Marowak, Marshadow, Duskinor, Trevenant, Giratina. Gorgeist, man, this is going to be a field day for Mega Gengar, that's for sure. Anyway, so I start out with the Arceus Fairy again. I keep using him frequently as a starter. And we see a wall in Marowak using Flame Charge a lot and Flare Blitz. This works well here because I went for Recover and we have a lot more HP. Thus, the Flare Blitz knocks him out. We go into Yveltal. Yveltal is also a good answer for most of his Pokemon, but I, I prefer Gengar, to be honest. Especially when it goes Mega and it outspeeds everything. He goes into Duskinor, and Duskinor is going to get Poison. Guys, Poison is such a great move. When you poison Pokemon in the Uber tier, my goodness, it's awesome. Like, when you poison a Pokemon here, I it's a blessing. It is a pure blessing right there. Anyway, so while I'm saying that, we are going to sacrifice Arceus Fairy. I thought I could live another Shadow Sneak because of how much damage the first one did. However, I was wrong. But in the end, we actually get a double down, which are the best types of downs ever in the Pokemon franchise where two Pokemon go down on the exact same turn. On the double down, we go into Gengar. This will make sure that I Mega Evolve safely, use Shadow Ball a whole bunch of times. We knock out Gorgeist, didn't do anything, didn't do Squat. 
And now we see probably the most powerful ghost type in this whole video, which I mean, if you factor in Angar as well, maybe he's up there as well, but we'll see about that. Gerakina is here, is what I'm saying. Gerakina is indeed a strong Pokemon. He has Dragon Tail and drives me into Deos' defense. I'm like, oh, okay. I can probably I can probably paralyze you at some point. But I'm looking at his team and I'm like, alright. I can go for spikes and I end up using one layer of spike. The dragon tells me to evolve here, which I mean that's great and all. I use foul play, it's not gonna do much because Girakino is a special attacker, not a physical attacker. In the end though, I just go for the toss it. It's gonna make it a lot easier. And you're saying, well why Taking this long to take out a Girakina at low health like that. I mean, yeah, I'm just taking the higher route here. Not gonna work out, but here's where my opponent kind of screwed up. I mean, he went for the Dragon Tail and it is random. It picks a random Pokemon and he had the Dragon Tail meaning the Gengar, which that is bad news to my opponent because I'm going to stay in here for the rest of the fight and use Shadow Ball over and over again. However, I haven't used Zekrom at all in this video. Or I mean, in this battle of this video, I mean... I can't talk right now. I haven't used Zekrom in this fight. There you go. And he is indeed the captain or the Pokemon of the video, so... You have to use him at some point, right? We do have Crunch, which is not Stab, but it's coverage against Pokemon like these, where you just go for crunch, it's super effective, and you win the game. So there you go, that's the end of this fight. We have a lot more wins than losses. I will check out my ranking in the next video before we start the actual thing though. Um, we did very good. A lot of good battles. I kind of struggled with Xerneas. I will have answers for Xerneas in the next battle video. My new team that I create. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys ended up liking this video, make sure you like the video. Subscribe for more videos coming your way soon. And share around. I really appreciate the support. This is China Connor bringing you episode 4 of my Pokemon Showdown series. Have yourselves a great day. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye, Connors.